Hello there, I'm Dr. John Rex, and I'm here to answer your burning questions about AMR. The Pasteur Act is a bit of legislation that was introduced into the Senate and now into the House to address the very specific problem of the broken economics of antibiotics. A big issue for antibiotics is that when you invent a new one, because we try very hard to save good new antibiotics and only use them for highly resistant bacteria, that new antibiotic might not have very much use right at the start. And that means that the, the company that has invested hundreds of millions, if not one to one and a half billion dollars to get this new drug to the market, doesn't get any revenue from the sales of the drug where the sales are dependent on some human being needing to be treated with the drug. Instead, you've invented a new antibiotic. You've invented a new fire extinguisher of medicine, as we like to say. And that fire extinguisher is a great thing to have in the pharmacy. We're just not going to use it very often. So the Pasteur Act is an idea of a way to solve that problem. And the Pasteur Act creates something called a market entry reward. And the idea is that if you are the company that invents a brand new, really interesting antibiotic, and you bring it to approval in the United States, the United States government would pay you a number between $750 million and $3 billion, depending on what your, your molecule does. A really, really good one might get the $3 billion, one that's, that has some good features but isn't quite as spectacular, it might get less. But an agreed amount, you would receive that over the 10 years lifetime of the drug. And you would receive that from the U.S. government to cover U.S. federal uses of the drug. And you'd receive it whether or not people actually were treated with it. It's, it the, the government would be paying you to make the antibiotic, make it available, put it in the pharmacy, and know that that fire extinguisher is ready to go. You don't have to wait for it. It's ready to go when it is needed. And so this is the idea of a delinked payment. The delink means instead of paying per use, per infection that we treat, we pay to have it available in the pharmacy. And the Pasteur Act uh, sets aside $11 billion to pay for a series of new fire extinguishers in this fashion. Um, about $1 billion of it is meant to be used during a transitional period while the, the project is being set up. And the other $10 billion is meant to be used to bring, you know, probably three or four new antibiotics uh, pull them onto the market and pay for them on the market. And then the program is meant to be reviewed periodically to see if we need to do it again and again. You know, we don't invent them all the time. And so the you know, $10 billion will actually buy us several interesting new antibiotics and make them available to the United States. Um, Pasteur also puts in some stuff about stewardship. And it actually, it, the cool, really the cool thing about Pasteur is that it works hand in hand with stewardship. If, if you're or the company that has made the new drug, you're getting paid for the creation of the drug, and it's actually not in your interest to encourage use except when it's really needed. So the company is aligned with stewardship goals. Everybody's going to line up with the idea of protecting the new antibiotic and only using it when you really need it. But the thing that Pasteur does is it makes it available. The Pasteur Act levels the playing field economically and makes it as attractive to work on this as anything else. And that's what we need. We need all, the, all those thousands of interested scientists thinking about this and starting a few hundred companies that lead to a few, a few tens of things in the clinic that ultimately give us a few handful of new antibiotics 10 to 20 years from now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.